Hello everybody and hope you're all well. So today we are going to give a step-by-step -step, uh, introduction demo with examples on Microsoft Power Automate. Power Automate is a service that allows you to automate all those repetitive day-to-day -day manual tasks. So they are automatically done for you. So this makes you work smarter and more efficiently by automating tasks across common apps and services. So don't worry, there's no coding. It's an easy process. We select and use pre-made templates that are available to us um, within the application. So simple uh, sample search templates that you can use straight away and connect to common services like Teams, SharePoint, email, and build different flows for automation. So as an example, in this video, we will show a step-by-step -step guide using a SharePoint site and create a workflow from a template to notify us in Teams when a file is uploaded to SharePoint. This could be useful to notify employees of a company in Teams of any new documents uploaded to a SharePoint site. We will also look at building a workflow for timesheets to remind our employees um, to submit their timesheets at a certain time using a schedule uh, and be notified via Teams and email. So throughout this video, you will learn a good introduction of the many possibilities available to us using Power Automate to create different automated tasks for different scenarios. So let's first start by logging into Office 365 and accessing Power Automate uh, within the cloud. This is instantly made available to us with our Office 365 subscription and licensing. I'm using a Microsoft E3 license here, which includes uh, limited Power Automate capabilities. There are also general purpose Power Automate capabilities licensed on a standalone basis. So I'll put some links in the description to show you some licensing if you don't already have a license. OK, so we are logged in. On the menu on the left, let's choose Power Automate. You can either select on the drop down or on the sidebar. As you can see, this opens a Power Automate application in the cloud, so we are ready to start configuring our workflows. Let's start by just taking a look at the services or connectors made available to us to allow us um, to connect to many different services. So we clicked on services here, but we could also get uh, to the same place by clicking connectors. As you can see, there's lots of connectors uh, available to us to use. Also, there's many templates already pre-built for us to select and cover many different automation tasks. So now as an example, we now want to automate a task that allows us to send a notification when a file is uploaded to our document store in our company SharePoint intranet. Let's now use a search tool to search for a template to perform this task for us. Let's type SharePoint to Teams. We can see this search returns lots of templates related to SharePoint and Teams. We will select our template from our task, which is notify a team when a file is added to SharePoint. When a file is uploaded to SharePoint, we want the whole company to be alerted in Teams. Of course, we could send alerts to many other different services like email if we wanted to. This flow will need to connect to Teams and SharePoint. We already logged in here to both. Now click Create. And then choose our SharePoint intranet address that we have already created. The SharePoint name of our document store, where our document will be uploaded to. Microsoft team name and Teams channel to send the notification to. Now click Create. If we now look into our My Flows section, we can see our flow has just been created. So let's test it out. We will now go into our company SharePoint intranet site and upload a file to our document library. 
We now have a new company mug with our logo on it and we want to tell everyone in the company about our new product so they can start selling it quickly. So let's now see if all our company employees have been notified in Teams channel about our new amazing mug. So excellent, we have now received the notification. Now that's just one task. As an example, we have automated. Now any further documents uploaded to SharePoint, our company employees will be kept informed. Now we're gonna look at creating flows and the different types are made available to us. We can start from a blank flow and there are different types as you can see. So there's automated flows, instant cloud flows, etc. So in this example, we will look at creating a scheduled cloud flow to inform our employees via email every Friday that their timesheets need to be submitted. They will be notified via Teams and email. So let's type the flow name, choose when to start the scheduled flow, and we're going to repeat one week on a Friday. So let's create. So the reoccurrence is shown, so it runs on a Friday every week. Let's add another step. So we want to use Teams to notify us. So let's search Teams and see what's available to us. As you can see, we have many options, create meeting, add members to a team, etc. But we want to choose post message in a chat or channel. Choose a channel we want to post in. And of course, a message we want to send to inform all our company employees not to forget to submit their timesheets every Friday. We can continue to add more steps. So in this case, I can use uh, and choose the Office 365 Outlook connector, then select an action to send an email to everyone in the company with a chosen subject and message. So let's save and we can now see that that's been added uh, to our flows and we are beginning to build flows for different types of automation required. So let's manually run the flow and see uh, the notifications uh, that, that's been made available to us. Okay, excellent. So we can now check Outlook where we have a, a reminder message not to forget our timesheets together with a notification in Teams. So hopefully that's given you an introduction to Power Automate and the possibilities available to us to enable you to start automating all your tasks to make your life easier. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for further content around Office 365 components, services and cloud technologies. So all the best, take care and see you all soon. Bye for now.